Welcome on this tutorial. Wish all you are well. In previous tutorial, I have discussed how to download MCU8051 IDE. I believe all you have downloaded it and installed in your computer. Now in this tutorial, I am going to discuss how to start with MCU8051 IDE, how to write program how to run the program and how to check the program. I will discuss with different examples also. Entering into the discussion, please subscribe. It will encourage me to upload more and more important tutorials. To open MCU8051 IDE, I am clicking this shortcut icon. Some tips are showing here. I am closing this. This is the opening editor page of MCU8051 IDE. For starting work, project new, I am giving the project name, say test, choosing a particular directory, I am selecting desktop, providing a location, say MCU, ok. Now see the project directory is MCU on my desktop. I need to select proper microcontroller. There are numbers of microcontrollers here. Say I am selecting 8089C51. I can check this external RAM and external ROM. I will not use it at this moment. So keeping it unchecked, OK. The specified directory does not exist. Do you want to create? Yes. So this is the editor page where I will write the program. What are the different features here? This blank space is the editor part. Here I will write the program. The bottom part, this having different functions. At this moment, it is showing the simulator part. In this simulation, we can see the different status or different data in different memory and different registers. These are the RAM locations. So we can get the RAM locations and corresponding data. These are the different registers. Say so this is register A, register B. And these are the values in hex, decimal, binary, octal form. This is the program status word register. And these are the different bits of program status word. When these bits will be zero, this will be colored as red. When any bit of this program status word will be one, that will be shown by green color. These are the different registers R0 to R7. And these are the data position. There are timers. This is T0, T1. Timer 0 low, timer 0 high, timer 1 low, timer 1 high and these are the data position. This is the TCON register and TMOD register. This is IE and IP register. This port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3 register. This PCON register, SCON register. This DPTR, program counter, clock, this stack pointer, buffer for receive data, buffer for transmit data. So data in different registers can be viewed here in simulation panel. What are the other things here? This is the C variable part. If we write the program in C code, then this will be used. This is the IO port gives the graphical representation. This message here, the message will be displayed according to the program execution. Notes, we can take any note here. We can use the calculator. These are the different functions. Next, I am writing a very simple program and trying to show how to simulate and how to get the output. Say so this is a very simple program. What I have written here, move a comma hash 20 h means the value of accumulator is 20 h. For next instruction, move r0 comma hash 10. So the value of r0 is 10. Add a comma r0 means the value of R0 will be added with the accumulator value and the result will be stored into the accumulator. So 20 and 30, when that will be added, the result will be 30 and that will be stored into accumulator. Now the value into accumulator will be 30 after executing the program. So after executing the program, the value of accumulator is 30 and value of R0 is 10. Before running the program, I am checking what is the value of R0. See, this is the value of R0. What is here? It is 0. And what is the value of accumulator? See, this is accumulator. What is the value of accumulator here? It is 0, 0 means 0. 
now running the program and see what we can get at output we need to save the program uh, from here i can save it right, right clicking at this position save as providing a particular file name here say i am providing add add dot a s m for assembly language the extension is dot a s m okay do you want to add this file to the project yes now for running the simulation this is the simulation icon start stop simulator so clicking this one here it is writing simulator data file not found do you want to create it okay yes say the red color it is indicating simulator mode means simulation started now to see the result what we need to do we need to click this button this is animate program so clicking this button now we can see the result checking what is the value of accumulator see now the value of accumulator is 30 in hex next what is the value in register r0 now the value of register r0 is 10 in hex so it is showing desired result so by this way we can write the program we can run the simulator and we can check whether the program is providing the perfect output now i am discussing on few more points from the menu this is file edit view project from here we can do different functions but i will discuss here virtual mcu what is there the first one show sfr map so clicking here we can see all the special function registers from here see here this is b a p s w i p p 3 i e all the special function registers are here along with their memory locations and data at present after running this program what was the value of accumulator accumulator value is 30 see here it is showing 30 what are the default values in p0 p1 p2 p3 all are ff see p3 is ff p2 is ff p1 is ff p0 is ff if we see the stack pointer what is the default value of stack pointer that is 07 see 07 so from this we can get all the special function registers with their memory location and data inside those registers coming to next point show bit area this is the bit addressable area say this is ram memory location from memory location 20 to 2f these are bit addressable area means all the bits from this memory location to this memory location can be accessed individually how many bits are there on memory location consist of 8 bit so total 16 byte consist of 128 bit memory location is bit among this 128 bits can be accessed separately so is bit have individual memory location say this bit having the memory location 00 this bit having the memory location 01 this 02 03 like this and ultimately the final memory location is 7f so from this to this all the bits can be accessed individually as well as from here to here all the bytes also can be accessed the same thing is here say starting byte address is 20 so from this to this 8 bits are in byte memory location 20 next byte is having address 21 22 ultimately 2f bit address of this memory location is 00 next bit location having address 01 ultimately this is 07 next this is 08 like this ultimately the last bit memory location is 7f now i am writing the program to show how to access individual bit as well as how to access byte say so this very simple program i have written here only a single instruction what is the instruction here set bit c what is the function of this instruction it will set carry bit where is the carry bit carry bit is in program status word so before running this program i am checking what is the status of carry this is the psw so this bit is carry bit what is the status now it is showing red colored so it is now zero total value of this program status word is now zero we can check the value of program status word from here also see here psw value is 
what will happen after running the program this carry bit of psw will be set as logic 1 running the program yes this is in simulation mode i need to click this animate program clicking see the result color of this carry bit in psw has been changed means now value of this bit is 1 what will the total value in psw the c is only 1 the rest all bits are 0 so value inside psw will be now 80 we can check it from here say now psw value is 80 next i am changing the program a little i have added on instruction move 20 h comma c what will happen after this instruction the carry bit whether it is 0 or 1 that will be entered into 20 h memory location now what is the value of carry now after executing this instruction carry is logic 1 this one will be stored into memory location 20 h so no doubt this 20 h this is the bit address now where is this bit address i am showing here show bit area see here this is bit address 00, 0 this is bit address 1f this is bit address 20 so after executing this instruction what will happen this 20 bit will be logic 1 now running the program and showing before running the program this bit is now red color red color see here red color is the logic 0 so after execution of this program this will be converted into this green color now see whether it is happening or not running the simulation yes running the animation and see the bit area now see what happened 20 bit address is now converted into green color this is logic 1 so from this we can understand that how a single bit can be accessed from this bit addressable area which one I have accessed? This memory bit I have accessed which is having address 20H. Now here another 20H is there. So when we are using the same 20, whether that is byte address or that is bit address. If we access this one, this is bit address. If we access this one, this is byte address. So how we will identify whether that is bit address or byte address. The similar thing will be happened for others also see this is 21 here 21 22 23 like this up to 2f so how we can identify that whether we are accessing byte or whether we are accessing bit now showing that i am adding one more instruction here move 20h comma hash 0 f h so what is here i have used same move instruction with same memory location 20h and 20h but here a single bit data from carry copied into the memory location 20 is so no doubt this 20 is is the bit address and here the data is 8 bit data that is ff that data should be stored into 20 is so this 20 is is not a bit address this is byte address and where is that byte address see here the byte address is this one means now that ff data will be stored in this 8 bit memory location this is the byte address 20h so ff will be stored in this memory location this 8 bit will change the color to green now running the program and see what is happening yes running animation and checking the bit area say now this 8 bits are colored with green so this ff data is stored now at 20 byte address so this is how the different bit memory can be accessed as well as how different byte memory location can be accessed next few more this is the show stack from here we can see the stack see value of the stack pointer is 07 next show code memory from here we can see how the program has been stored into the memory this is the code memory these are the parameters which has been stored into the program code 
D3 92 20 75 20 FM. FM. These are the the representation of this full code. From where this came. First D3 is the of set set bit C. Say I am showing it. Say set bit C. Opcode of set bit C is D3. Next 92 and 20. This came from second instruction. Move 20 comma C. Move bit memory location comma C. Opcode of this instruction is 92. And here the data. Data means bit memory location which is 20. Now checking whether the opcode of this instruction move bit comma C is 92 or not. See here. Move bit comma C. The opcode is 92. Similarly, move 20 H comma 0 FF. Opcode of this move instruction is 75. Next, this 20 is the byte address and FF is the data. So from this code memory, we can check the exact coding of this program. Next, few more things quickly. I am telling. We can connect different virtual hardware, means external devices. So we can connect LED panels. Seven individual LEDs are here. We can connect seven segment LED. We can connect LED matrix. We can connect multiplexed LED display. Simple keyboard, matrix keyboard, LCD display in different configuration. Say this two cross sixteen mostly used LCD. Also, we can connect DS one six two zero temperature sensor. How this different virtual hardwares can be connected or can be used? I'll show it later in different tutorials. From this discussion, we got an idea how to start with MCU eight zero five one IDE. How to open it? How to write program? How to run the simulation and animation? How to check the output? I believe all will be able to access MCU eight zero five one IDE from now. In next tutorial, I will explain more programming examples on microcontroller 8051 through this MCU 8051 IDE. Please subscribe. Put your comments and queries in comment section.